Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Research, where you walk through my research process as I look at different parental control options and tell you what I think about them. Today we're going to talk about Net Nanny. By the way, I'm Michael Prince from BecauseFamily.org and FamilyTechBlog.com, as you can see below. We're going to look at Net Nanny today. We're going to talk about its features, what it has to offer, how much it costs, what I think about how it works. I've actually used Net Nanny a little bit, played around with it, so I can talk to you a little bit about that. It has parental controls that lets you set up a time management, a filter, block pornography, and other kinds of content like violence and stuff like that. That's all built in, masking profanity. All that stuff's built into it. It can send you alerts and report if something inappropriate has been visited or if they've spent too much time, if they run out of time. No matter where they are, you can manage their, their stuff and you can set user profiles so it works for different people. Different kids have different profiles that way. They have a very good filter that scans the page and looks for inappropriate content and um, it works very, it works pretty darn well. Uh, and they have good resources here. That's one of the things I like most about Net Nanny is the resources on their website, on their blog and stuff. Um, they have a lot of good research, infographics and things like that that you can look at. Their time management is, is a pretty good setup. Uh, it works pretty well. It schedules it so it's automatic and you can set it for the, uh, the day or week. It allows flexibility so you can change it if you want to. Here's an example. Uh, as you can see, you know, it says where are you going to allow and it's in a pretty easy to use setup And actually when I tested this the setup was different. It wasn't this simple So they've made some updates, which is good uh, But for some reason they don't want them on the internet at 1 p.m. Maybe we all eat lunch together And so you're not allowed to be on there at 1 p.m. For Monday through Friday You have the internet blocked between uh, You know all day long. They're not allowed to be online uh, all day long, but only on su Saturdays and Sundays except for lunchtime or 1 p.m. The profanity masking is pretty cool. Vulgar words on the screen are replaced by by special characters. So, um, and it seems to work on pretty much every every site, so that's cool. Now, I recommend an accountability software, like I talked about Accountable to You on the first episode of this series, and uh, this does a similar thing. It, it will alert you when something's been blocked. Um, it will alert you when uh, they've been warned about something. And uh, so you can get weekly alerts about the activity. Top blocked domains, which is a list of the websites the most often blocked during the past week. And you can view web events, the list of website categories blocked during the past week. Well, if a child wants to ask for permission to a website that is blocked, that request will trigger an alert for the parent. And then the parent can remotely approve or override the blocked page. Being able to do that remotely is a really good option. And it's really helpful. So... Uh, that's pretty darn cool. Now, let's look at what they offer. Uh, they offer different things, uh, like different programs for like PC and Mac that are a little bit less expensive. The Family Protection Pass is really what I want to talk about because that's kind of the best option for you as a family, most likely. The last video I did, I was frustrated because I couldn't find the pricing. It is on almost every page. See that? It's on almost every page, everywhere you go on the website. They're like, here's how much we cost, here's how much we cost. I like that. I like that about NetNanny. I like sites that do that or at least put a big pricing thing up on the menu. This one says five computers or device, $60 a year, uh, 10 computers or devices for $90 a year, 15, $420 a year. So we're talking about $7 and 50 cents a month to cover 10 devices. You pay all in one lump sum in a year. That's very affordable. It's very good cost. Um, my experience, and I will say the only negative I have is my experience on the back, what I call the back end of NetNanny, where you set up the protections. I've had to help some folks get it set up. It wasn't as user friendly or, or intuitive as I would like. Now, it looks like they've made some changes based on what I saw on those screenshots. I haven't tested it in a while because my test account expired. Uh, so they've made some changes or they've updated some stuff. So it looks a little easier. So I would say that I'm gonna put a hold on my negativity about that for now. I still recommend a separate accountability software because you want to be alerted if something slips through this filter. You want to be alerted if they're if they're not if it's not getting blocked for one reason or another. You want another tool to say, "Hey, this this was messed up." If you have young kids who aren't seeking out things like adult content stuff like that, if your kids are pretty young, you might be okay with just a built-in filter that Apple just has on their iPhones or, or Android's Google Safe Search has. Now, the Google Safe Search, I would say, isn't as strong as Apple's filter, 
but they they they're both a little a little bit better. Uh, or they're definitely better than nothing, and they're almost as good as something like this. If you are concerned that they're going to try to wiggle their way around it or whatever, you want to add some something better, something stronger like this. Uh, so so yeah, I like Net Nanny. I recommend it. They have business solutions, so if you want to put a filter on and even time, like make sure people aren't wasting time on your business computers, that's a whole separate thing. And actually, that's their main bread and butter. The business solutions option, which is called Content Watch, they are the umbrella for what Net Nanny does. Yeah, that's Net Nanny. I recommend it. We do have affiliate links. If you go to becausefamily.org slash partnership, you'll find our Net Nanny links there. And uh, if, if you click through there, we get a little kickback on whatever you, you sign up to use Net Nanny for. It's a good option. It's the filter option I recommend if you're gonna get a paid for filter. It's affordable, it's useful, and it's not super complicated to set up if you're pretty familiar with computers. Now, if you're the kind of person that looks at a computer and it just smoke starts coming out of it, let me know. I can help you out if you go to becausefamily.org and shoot us a message. I can give you a hand on that as well. So thank you for watching. Share this with your friends. There's not a lot out there like this. So please share and help your friends know what we're up to, what we're doing. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on the next Let's Research episode. Bye. Hi, I'd like to thank you for watching our videos. I just wanted to let you know that Because Family is a nonprofit organization. All money donated to Because Family goes to help us make videos like this. Articles like the one this video is attached to, do seminars and free workshops for families to teach them how to keep their kids safe online, to teach digital citizenship to kids, to write curriculum, and all kinds of wonderful stuff that we try to do to help families be internet smart and safe. So if you'd like to donate, you can go to becausefamily.org slash partnership and give to help us keep doing that. Thanks a lot.